Hello, I'm Phoenix J. As many of you already know, NetherRealm has released a series of videos for their video game, Injustice Gods Among Us, called the Injustice Battle Arena. These videos have sparked quite a bit of debate. However, no more debate than any other versus fight has ever sparked. A lot of people find themselves arguing about who would win, Batman, Superman, and then they start spouting out evidence or uh, not so much evidence like, you know, for example, he's Batman. And people get mad, flame wars start. Well, I'm here standing before you right now to put an end to all these flame wars. Let's not waste any time, let's jump right into it. Here's what you need to know. Versus fights, they have no point. And here's why. The strength, the feats, the characters themselves as a whole are decided by the creators. Many of you comic book fans already know that creators, authors, writers will often take the characters that they're working with and give them feats that they wouldn't normally be able to accomplish and sometimes it seems out of the character or sometimes they will take the character and make them into a complete moron or make them extremely weak to where they couldn't even lift a rat. That was well worded. And then comic book fans who are, you know, dependent on the situation for or against the this particular character will spout bad writing. That was terrible writing. You should not regard that. That's not true. It may be bad writing in some cases, I won't argue that. But you should regard it, because bad writing is the basis for my argument that I'm about to make. And that's this. The characters are only as powerful, as smart, as the creator. Basically what I'm saying is, if an author or a writer, uh, someone making a fanfic, for example, wants to make Katniss from The Hunger Games be able to kill Superman by flicking him in the head, they can do that. They are fully allowed to do that, though they cannot sell that story because that would be multiple levels of copyright infringement. And the same thing can go for a Batman versus Iron Man argument. If you want Iron Man to defeat Batman, if you think that Batman wouldn't stand a chance, then it's official Batman cannot stand a chance. If you think the other way around, then that's true too. It's all up here. We, we're creators. We decide how powerful someone is and whether or not they can succeed in a certain situation. This is the point and the very basis of fictional characters. They're to drive a story. Fictional characters were created to make stories. That's, that's all there is to it. And if a story needs something that seems a little ridiculous to happen, to drive forward, then that needs to happen. That's all there is to it. People have been creating fictional characters for ages to create stories. Take Beowulf, for example. Beowulf was created somewhere between the 8th and 11th century as sort of the first superhero. Maybe not the first, there were probably fictional characters created long before that. That's the oldest one that I that comes to mind. Beowulf was basically Superman before Superman was ever conceived of. And I use Superman as an example because let's face it, when you think of superheroes, usually the character that comes to most people's minds on average is Superman because he's the superhero. Beowulf was once the superhero. However, he was not called a superhero, he still played basically the same role. He was placed against odds that no mortal man could ever overcome, yet he overcame them with superhuman feats. And what does Superman do? Granted, I, don't, I wouldn't call any of the Superman comic books uh, an epic like Beowulf, but it's still the same principle. Beowulf is a superhero. And Superman is our modern-day warrior overcoming sorcery and other opposition, whatever the creator throws in his path. Remember this, next time someone says, 
Edward Eller could beat Avatar Aang's butt into the dirt, uh, that it, he can. But it could also go the other way. It's whatever you want, whatever you think best fits the story. Remember this, the most important thing, you're a creator. You build and manipulate universes based on however you think the universes should be built or manipulated. And you even have the power to destroy universes. So if you don't like My Little Pony, just blow it up. It's, that's all on you, man. And for the record, Sonic the Hedgehog is so much cooler than Rainbow Dash, who I don't even know, I swear. But I understand. What I'm saying here is basically taking all the fun out of a versus fight argument. I, I don't want to do that. Because it is fun to, uh, Think about the Hulk and Solomon Grundy clashing. That's cool. I get that. It's kind of appealing. But don't take it too seriously on an unhealthy level because it could go either way. I mean, that, like I've said this already, that's all there is to it. However, Enjoy the Injustice Battle Arena and Death Battle. If you don't know what that is, you need to go check out Screw Attack because they've got a cool show called Death Battle. Freaking awesome. And Epic Rap Battles of History, though that's kind of borderlining on a different thing. And thank you for watching. I basically said all I wanted to say. This has been a very personal public service announcement from me, Phoenix Shape, to you, the viewer, and remember, creator. Now go, shoot, shoot. Imagine worms fighting Pikmin or something, I don't know. Uh, pff, what else we got? We got Goku fighting uh, Killer Croc. That, 